Question. How do you make this gross, nasty water into something you can actually drink? Second question. What if you could do that for people in other parts of the world who need clean water? You could if you used engineering. Clean water is essential to a healthy life. We can't live without it. Today, we have two engineers who are going to show our group of kids how to make clean drinking water of this nasty stuff. Come along with us as we discover engineering. Hey guys, welcome to the University of Iowa College of Engineering. Meet Craig Just. Craig's an engineering professor who knows a lot about building systems that purify water. Are you ready to get your hands dirty? Meet Avery Bang. Avery is the president of Iowa's Chapter of Engineers for a Sustainable World. She and a bunch of her engineer buddies just got back from building bridges in Peru. We'll tell you more about that later. For now, she's going to help our kids learn about cleaning up some dirty water. Are you guys ready for a drink of water? Take a look at that. What do you think? They had some water sitting out and they said it was from the river and basically it was kind of yellowish. Is that the kind of water you'd like to drink? No. no. Why not? There's, There's dirt. bugs. There's bugs. There was a whole bunch of dirt and scum and it was all cloudy and little bugs were jumping around and stuff and I was like, oh, oh what is this? One out of five people on the entire planet have to drink water that looks like that or worse each and every day. That water was so nasty, it looked so nasty. I feel sorry for those people who have to drink that. You guys expect your water to be clear and clean looking when you drink it, right? Yeah. Do you think if you drink water like that that you might get sick? Yeah. yeah. One of the exciting things we can do as engineers is we can design an entire system to purify water that starts out looking like this and we can purify that water for a, a, a school or a clinic or an entire village. And we did just that over spring break in Hicotepec, Mexico. We've got a great video of that that we'd like to show you right now. And here our university students get to meet the children in the elementary school. They get to see the children for the first time. You can see they're, they're happy. But the one thing they don't have is safe drinking water. See that water there? That's the water that they used to drink. Do you see the water in there and how dirty and, and ugly it looks? We're taking that water and designing a system so we can purify that water so it's safe to drink. Here the uh, students are making their calculations and their designs. We're putting in some of the final connecting pieces. And here we're training the students and showing them how clean the water is. And then of course, We've got to take a drink of the water ourselves. It's very powerful for the students that go to school there who have never seen a drinking fountain. They don't even understand what that is. They would never drink that water unless we told them it was safe and unless we were to drink the water in front of them. So that's what we're doing now. We're showing them, yes, this water is safe. We'll drink it in front of you, and then that way um, you'll know it's safe. That's just amazing to me. I didn't think that people didn't know what a water fountain was because that was just something regular in my life. I always thought engineers worked in a lab. Well, what our organization, Engineers for a Sustainable World, does is tries to get us out of the lab. and We're doing a lot more in actually going and making a difference. I'm on a team where we're building a bridge in Peru and it's for a local school where kids are crossing every day and right now what they have is 15 meters apart and they braid a bunch of, of vines together and they crawl and walk across these vines that are just secured by big rocks on either side. It's just in the last three years there's been three kids that have fallen from these ropes just going to school. I was really stunned because of the fact that they only had these two braids of ropes to cross over and it's like a life, or, a life or death situation. And I'm just thinking that it's a great thing that engineers, they can go out there and help the kids and br make bridges so that their life is easier for them and that children don't die like that. The reality of the situation is we can make a big difference with a technical engineering degree. And there's nobody, no faculty members helping us. It's just five university students and we're gonna go build the bridge that's gonna make a big impact. I like the way engineers help people. And I really feel like helping people, that's a good thing. When you do that, it makes you feel good. 
Okay, now it's time for you guys to build your own system. They dumped out a whole bunch of little pieces you had to screw together, and you had to do hook this up, chop this off, and I'm like, wow, that's amazing that they can make that actually into a system. So what I've got here for you are all the, the kind of connectors that you might want to use. I've got some pipes for you, and I've also got some filters and filter holders for you. And since you've already kind of seen the system that we put together in Hiko Tepec, I want you to kind of use that in the back of your mind as something you might want to build, but you need to build your own. And we want to see how well you might do that given all the parts that you've got here. You have to make sure the water goes the right direction. I'm going to draw arrows to show that it's going the right direction. Make water inside those tubes. I'll make a visual of what's inside the tubes as it goes through the filters. Bacteria. You guys did a great job. Thank so, you. yeah, why don't you tell me a little bit more on how you decided to put all the pieces together? Well, first, we, we knew that you had to get the filters in order so it'd get the largest particles and then down to the lowest particles. The first filter is the one that filters out all the rocks and possibly bugs, and the water flows from the first tube and just goes through it filtered and then next goes on to the next part. Mine basically just breaks down the medium particles and then it'll send it on to the small one. And mine is it breaks down the smaller particles which get the very teeny dust particles and things like that. Excellent. And then the next piece that's going to be on the system at the very end will be a disinfection system and we'll learn more about that next. This is an example of a water disinfection system that utilizes an ultraviolet lamp to kill the bacteria and viruses in the water that you can't see. This is an example of a larger unit that also has an ultraviolet lamp inside, but it works in a flow-through fashion so you can get water on demand when you want it. And here's the filtration system that you guys designed and built. And before that is our pumping system that's going to take the dirty water and run it through the system so it can get purified. But we want the water to be really, really dirty. But before we make the water really dirty, we've got to put on our safety gear. It's time to test the water purification system. We put dirt in it and bugs and snails and all kinds of other nasty things. And I just got this water from the toilet. Ew. Let's clean some water. special test on our purified water just to make sure that all the bacteria was killed and sure enough this test says that all the bacteria are dead. Your system worked. Good job. <laughs> now the final test. A toast and a drink of the pure clean water. My favorite part was putting the filters together I think. Putting all that stuff together. Well, I learned that engineers, they don't work by themselves only. They work as a team and they put all their thoughts together and build this wonderful creation that just helps the community. Through engineering, you can have the power to be a hero and help everyone and change, change problems that, will, that are just problems. <laughs>
These kids in Mexico now have clean running water, and these kids in Peru can now safely walk over their new bridge to get to school. It's happy endings all around. The Iowa engineers have a saying, am I a superhero? No, I'm an engineer. Common mistake. That just about says it all. If you want to be a hero to someone to really make a difference in the world, maybe you should discover engineering too.